guys, this is Arlene with another video for My Favorite Things. I'm putting out this video because I received a lot of questions about the different types of felt that you can use with your MFT Dynamics dies and which is the uh, really the best uh, quality felt to use. For my preference, you guys, is I actually run for the My Favorite Felt um, felt that's available through My Favorite Things website and there's various colors available. They're in the process of restocking so don't fear. Um, there will be more colors on on the site but uh, previously I did have felt that I had purchased through Michaels or my local Michaels um, and Joanne and the difference between the felt you could automatically tell by feeling the texture but the felt that you purchased at Michaels and Joanne's is 100% polyester and it's not even a blend it's just 100% polyester and you can already tell that when you pick it up you can see the little hairs kind of sticking out sorry there's a little glitter there because it was with my had some Christmas stuff with it but you can already tell that the hairs are kind of you know um, I could easily pull the hairs off you guys can see that you guys can see that I can easily pull the hairs off and so um, when you die cut with that those little hairs tend to stick so you don't get a really clean cut but I'm going to show you guys how to cut it different ways now there's different methods to cut felt um, first let me show you the um, the my favorite felt so this is the my favorite felt and when you purchase it on the MFT website it comes in a pack of five and the sheets are nine by twelve and there are some color combo packs that were available that I had purchased previously. Um, and then there's these solid colored packs, like with the rain cloud, the red, the white, the black, and the brown. Um, very cool to have, so you have plenty of each color. Um, and then there were these combo packs that come with five different colors um, per pack. But this is the, um, the My Favorite Felt here. And as you can tell, there's no strings coming off the sides. It's a very clean um, wool rayon blend and it just cuts very nicely. I love it. So um, I'm going to show you how to cut the felt and we're going to start off with the Michaels brand and um, my layering is going to be different. I'm going to go ahead and cut it with just the dynamics, with just the dynamics and the felt. And then I'm actually going to show you guys um, this little puppy and I love, love, love this. And this is what's called the Cuddlebug. Um, cutting plate adapter, but I use it in my Big Shot, and it's a very thin metal, so you got to be very careful because you could easily cut yourself. Um, they recommend you actually line the edges with a little bit of scotch tape so you don't um, hurt yourself, but I'm pretty careful when I hold it. I, I never grab it from the sides, but um, you lay this down and put your die over it. I always do um, cut side up when I cut with my Dynamics, and then you put the felt on there, and um, and then you put your cutting plate and run it through. Um, some folks like to put this directly on the cutting plate. Let me show you what I mean. When you make the sandwich, you put it on the cutting plate. You know, obviously this goes on top of your multi-purpose platform on the Big Shot and with all tabs closed. And then you have the, sorry for the glare, the Dynamics die, and then you have the felt, and then you put a piece of cardstock. That works well when you're using the My Favorite Felt but when you're not, it doesn't work very well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you different ways to um, to do your layering. This is my preference. Um, I use the the cutting plate, the Cuddlebug cutting plate adapter, my Dynamics, my felt, and then my top cutting plate. And that's my sandwich. And then I run that through my Big Shot on top of the multi-purpose platform, and it comes out perfect. So let me go ahead and get set up. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my multi-purpose platform down with all tabs closed and then I'm going to put down one cutting plate and we're going to go ahead and try this with the Michaels brand felt. I'm putting my die cut down first and then I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of the Michaels brand felt down and then I am going to put my next cutting plate and go ahead and run that through. Okay, and here's what I get, and as you can see, it didn't cut through all the way. It's like, I'd probably have to go in there with some scissors, and it's just going to be, it's going to get really messy. So that is with the Michaels brand felt, 
with um, just the cutting plates and the die. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the die and another piece of Michael's brand felt and then a piece of cardstock and then my cutting plate. And I'm going to run that through. And for the heck of it, I'm just going to run it through twice. See if I get a better cut. Okay, so it did cut through, but it's still stuck in certain areas. And it's kind of interesting because it cuts through the paper perfectly, yet my felt is stuck. Okay, so we got stuck felt here, so let me get these out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is take my Cuddlebug cutting plate adapter. I'm going to put my die down right on top of that. So I have multi-purpose platform, cutting plate, Cuddlebug multi, um, Cuddlebug cutting plate adapter, Dynamics die cut side up, and a piece of Michael's felt. And I'm going to go ahead and run that through. And it's going to be a little tight, but don't you worry, it's not going to break anything. Okay, let's see what I got. So even with the Michaels felt, my die cuts are still stuck. I didn't get a cut at all on that part right there, as you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the My Favorite Felt. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my die with just the cutting plate down, the die, my My Favorite Felt, and a cutting plate on top. I'm going to go ahead and run that through. And I'm going to run it back through again. And if you guys see that, it's like it cuts perfectly. And I didn't have to use the adapter plate, but when you use the adapter plate, you can run it through once. You guys see that? Nice and clean. Okay, let me guys, let me show you with the adapter plate. I'm gonna cut this out in red. Cause I just like red. I'm gonna layer my hearts out. Okay, and then I just put the cutting plate on top and then run that through. And with this cuddle bug adapter plate, I only have to run this through once. I don't have to pull it through twice. If you guys can see that. It's a nice, pretty cut. Okay. So, um, and let me go ahead and show you guys uh, what it looks like when you use the cardstock, just the cardstock. So I'm going to do that in pink. And then you just put the cardstock on. And the cutting plate. And run that through. And you can run it through a second time. So either with the cardstock or without the cardstock, it still works okay. Nice clean cuts. So really pretty. So check out My Favorite Felt on mftstamps.com and also check out the Dynamics while you're there because they are just awesome. It's one of my favorite products to work with. So one last thing I wanted to show you guys is another way that you could use your Cuddlebug um, cutting adapter plate is you can use it when you cut out the cork and this is the my favorite um, things cork sheets that you can purchase on their website and it's a really fun um, material to work with when using the dynamics so you can use the cutting plate to get a super clean cut um, when you cut out your cork and just want to show you that right here and just layer on top of your cutting plate. 
And of course, um, the cork is pliable, so it's going to be just a little tight, but it'll be perfectly okay. And I'll just show you guys what that looks like. Really nice, clean cut. I really love this um, this cutting plate. And you can also use it on um, thick card, uh, I think thick card stock or thin chipboard. This um, really helps you get a clean cut with materials that you normally probably wouldn't get as clean of a cut with. So again, this is the Cuddlebug um, cutting plate adapter. And again, it's good with your Big Shot as well. You just saw me use it with my Big Shot. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.